Hello everyone. My name is Subaizullah. I am a software engineer at Fscode. Today I am going to talk about custom configuration for Kafka using KubeDB. Our table of content, I am going to talk about this content. First, I will say a little bit Apache Kafka. Then I will talk about Apache Kafka supported features and how Kafka provision in KubeDB. And then I will talk about today's topic and upcoming future plans and features. There will be a live demo. After that, we will move in a question and answer session. Okay, Apache Kafka. Apache Kafka is open source distributed system. We can also call it distributed published subscribe messaging system. It is used for building real-time data pipelines and streaming apps. It is highly scalable, all tolerant, and highly throughput platform. It enables the collection, storage, and processing of streaming data. It has the ability to handle high velocity, high volume, and high variety streams. Okay, now keep the awards for Kafka. If you want to deploy Kafka cluster on your Kubernetes to any public or private cloud, you have to deal with lots of things like configuration, authentication. Here, QDB can help you to reduce all the time consuming matters to provision it in Kubernetes. Only applying Kafka's custom resource manifest. QDB supports Zook Kipal Scaraft mode. In the earlier version of Kafka, Zookeeper was used. It is mainly used to maintain cluster metadata. Now Kafka maintain all the thing without Jokeeper with Keraft. KubeDB support multiple clustering like combined mode, topology mode. Each of the Kafka node has a Kafka broker and Kafka controller. In combined mode, broker and controller run together. Uh, in the topology mode, broker and controller run separately. If you need to make connectivity among brokers, controllers, or extra clients like publisher, subscriber, KubeDB helps you to make it. You just need to enable TLS in the Kafka CR manifest. KubeDB will manage all the things. KubeDB is continuously run health checker to monitor Kafka. You can manually turn it off in the Kafka CR manifest. You can provide like authentication to your Kafka cluster using Kubernetes secrets. We have also support for monitoring metrics for Kafka cluster with Prometheus and Grafana. Custom configuration that I will talk about, and this is used to run Kafka cluster using provided configuration with default configuration. Version 3.3.0, 3.3.2, 3.4.0 are production ready for Kafka in KubeDB. Okay, here provision Kafka using KubeDB. To run cluster of Kafka using KubeDB, Kafka provision, we need to apply Kafka CR, what is Kafka custom resource. After applying the custom resource, the two of two manager, the two operator, ops manager operator and provision operator watches the Kafka custom resource. Here, provisioner operator create like stateful set services, secrets, a binding, PVC, etc. And ops manager operator create certificate using cert manager. And then delete Kafka. If the termination, termination policy field in the Kafka CR manifest is wiped out, operator will remove all the resources he created. If it is do not terminate, Operator will reject to delete a custom Kafka cluster. Okay. Now custom configuration. That diagram shows us how custom configuration works with our default configuration. When a user apply Kafka custom resource manifest, then provisional operator make all necessary configuration and create secret with this configuration. After creating the configuration, this default configuration mount in a port volume, then it path is opt 
slash config slash temp config here now it was used in previous kubedb kafka in kubedb now if we, if any user wants to run kafka cluster using custom configuration users will create secrets with the necessary configuration with them then the user will specify the secret name to spec.config secret field after this configuration also mount in a pod volume the path is slash opt slash config slash custom config after that Kubernetes or operator run a shell file to merge default configuration and custom configuration the merge path is slash opt slash config slash kafka config after that the kafka cluster run with this merge config okay now this is the installation of our kubedb project to install kubedb on your kubernetes cluster use this help command here you can see that license to get license you can visit kubedb.com and see the procedure to get license here our combined kafka cluster manifest it has like other Kubernetes resources it also has api version kind metadata and spec in the spec section we can see that there is a field name called config secret we specify here the secret name here here is our secret so in the string data under the string data we can see that there is a file name server.properties in combined uh, cluster the file name should be server.properties in the uh, server.properties we can see that process.rules that custom configure will not consider to run the cluster it will use the default value some configuration like procedure rules has fixed value to run the Kafka cluster. The other field like program voters also is unsensitive. If you change the value or if you update the value, the pod will not create it for the Kafka cluster. So we do not merge this field to our default configuration. We use default configuration to run our cluster for this type of field okay next configuration is log the directory the default directory is bar log kafka now we have we changed the field like slash log slash combined we also changed metadata log dot directory the directory changed to slash log slash combined slash metadata the previous default configuration was bar log slash kafka slash metadata we also change this field like log dot retention dot millisecond and log dot retention bytes. We can change any any configuration or you can update any configuration like this. You can specify all the configuration in the server dot properties file section. Okay. In the next slide, this is our topological cluster. Okay, I'm going to show you. As you know, in combined cluster, broker and controller run together but in topology mode they run separately if you can if we can see that they are in the topology section broker configuration and controller uh, configuration uh, specified separately so like uh, combined cluster uh, the remind remind uh, fields are same okay this is for our topological cluster uh, cluster secret we in the string data the previous one has one file that named server.properties now it has two files one for broker and one for controller the broker properties has some configuration file controller.properties has some configuration file we have changed uh, the like common cluster log the directory and some other field okay here is our live demo. We'll go to the live demo. Okay, here is my terminal. <clears throat> I have installed kubedb already, so I don't. I'm not going to install it again. <clears throat> First, I will apply Kafka CR without custom configuration, and show you how custom the default configuration will work.
this is our default configuration uh, in the specification there is no config secret so let's apply this eml we have applied the um, kafka topological default configuration you can see that the kafka topology default configuration is now in provisioning state the kafka topological topology default has created some secrets services stateful state and port the if you see that uh, this secret is used for uh, default configuration for broker only and this secret is you uh, keep the operator creates for controller config and you can see these two are headless services and you can see that if you uh, want to be uh, run any broker you have to uh, go with service and if i see the eml of any secret of okay this get a secret sorry and that is our secret in the configured properties we can see that there is a value If we decode it using page 64, you can see that this configuration are used in the default configuration. The default configuration directory, default configuration meta.log directory, and program borders. Okay, now we can see that. Kumo Kafka Topology default as now in probably ready mode. So let's eject into a broker. And if you log the, this port, you can see. You can see that the Kafka cluster run or Kafka broker run with this configuration. Uh, you can see that this is our default configuration. This is not our that is not our custom configuration. Okay, there is another field log the directory. Here the path is slash bar slash log slash Kafka. This is our default hello. You can see uh, whatever you see is everything is default configuration. Okay, let's delete this cluster and uh, apply our apply our secret with custom configuration. Okay, here is our custom configuration secret. If you see that, this is our custom configuration secret. We have changed log dot directory metadata dot log dot directory log dot retention dot millisecond, and the last one is log dot retention dot check dot interval dot millisecond. This is the prerequisite of log dot retention dot millisecond. It must be less than log dot retention dot millisecond. Okay, let's apply this secret to our Kubernetes cluster. You can see that the secret has been created. Okay, now let's apply the Kafka. 
topology with custom con, con, custom configuration. Oh, sorry, you forgot. Okay, the Kafka topology has been created. It also created uh, some default configuration uh, secret and some admin credential secret and all those uh, like previous one it also created two headless services uh, if you see uh, this is our secret we that we apply it if you see the eml we can see that in the data section there is two one is one for broker properties and one for control properties if we decode these properties we can say that this is our custom configuration. Okay, in Kafka, uh, we use G version 3.3.2 uh, for the demo section. And let's wait, the status is being ready. The Kafka topology is now still in provisioning mode. Okay. In this time, we will we'll lock. One of the broker. And see the configuration. Okay, let's see the log log directory. The default one was bar log Kafka, but it has been changed with custom configuration. That is slash log slash broker slash the number of this broker. Okay, there is another one. This log dot retention dot millisecond. Hey, it previous one was null. Now it is two twenty thousand millisecond, which is twenty second. If I see the um, yes, metadata dot log dot directory. It has been changed to slash log slash broker slash metadata. The previous one was slash bar slash log slash Kafka slash metadata. So we can see that the Kafka broker run with custom configuration. Okay, let's see into the port what going on here. Okay. Okay, the Kafka topology is now ready mode and we can if I eject to the broker zero, okay. If I list the root file root directory, you can see that there is a directory name lock. If I change, if I change the directory to lock. We can see that this is uh, the the broker has been created in this section. So if I change the directory to broker, we can see that the broker number, the cluster ID, and the metadata. This is for metadata dot dot log dot directory. Now I can see that the custom configuration works here. Now see for another custom configuration, which is log dot retention dot millisecond this configuration uh, delayed the whole log after a specified time period here specified time period is 20 second if uh, any message or any log will be deleted after 20 millisecond on a 20 second then okay to see that let's go to the 
Okay, first we have to export our Bootstrap server. Okay, we can uh, we export Bootstrap server with these commands. And we have also export client authentic authentication configuration. Let's export with this. Okay, we have completed the export. Okay, now see the cluster metadata. We have to run uh, Kafka metadata quorum shell uh, that have in, in our, okay, sorry. This is our Kafka metadata quorum shell. So I am running this command. You can see that uh, the metadata, all the metadata is here. The cluster ID, the leader ID is one, which is controller one. Here the current voters here is three controller. Three controllers are voter for this Kafka cluster. Okay. To check this, we are we want to create a Kafka topic. To create Kafka topic, we have to run Kafka topic shell, and we have to specify the client authentication configuration and bootstrap server, and the partition of the topic and replication factor of the topic. Uh, I'm running this command. It says me that the sample topic has been created. Okay, we want to describe the topic now. Okay, we want to describe now we will run the same shell Kafka topic with describe flag to see the description of the topic. Okay. Here we can see that the sample topic, the topic name is sample, topic ID is there, the partition number, replication factor, and the configuration that we'll use for the partition or for the topic. Here the changed configuration that we changed to previously in our custom configuration secret. The previous one was nil. Now it is 20,000 milliseconds, which is 20 second. Okay, let's produce some message that uh, the message will be deleted in 20 second or not. Okay, to produce, we have to run another command, which is Kafka console producer shell. We are running this shell, okay, here, all the board steps are and client notification are mentioned. Okay, run this command. Okay, here we can see that there are email to consume the message that we produce. There it needs another terminal. We have to exec into that. We are exporting the board step server and client notification like previous one. Okay, we have exported. Now we have to consume the message that we will pro produce. Okay, this is the pro uh, consumer shell, Kafka console consumer shell to um, see the message or to get the message. Okay, now we can see or see that this leader three, uh, leader three or uh, partition two. Leader has leader three, which means leader means here is broker zero is the uh, three. So I can consume message from partition two. Okay, let's go and produce some message. Hi. Sorry, the partition metadata is not updated yet. To update forcefully, we can run another command name delivery election. We run this command and wait few seconds to reload the metadata. Okay. Let's produce my message again. Okay, let's see the metadata is updated or not. No, still the metadata is not updated. Let's wait a few seconds for the update of metadata for this partition. Okay, trying. Sorry. Okay, let's go to the another partition, exit this partition. Let's exec another 
partition that we also change the exit this from this partition and exit to another partition and export everything like previous here client authentication file if you describe the topic again let's see what happens yeah the prior topic here the leader partition one okay the partition zero has a leader broker one okay let's try to produce message again with this command and consume with this command oh sorry i forgot to mention the partition the partition should be partition zero as the lead value is four we are into broker one okay okay let's try to send message okay now in this partition the matter is updated so you can see that the message that we written has been consumed by other terminal okay let's close the consumer and see that message is still there but if we wait 20 seconds the message will be deleted okay let's close this and wait 20 seconds before that i'm going to show the logs of one okay in this log section we can see the log retention time 20,000 millisecond this oh, okay they did it the uh, message now okay we can see that there is no message because we passed 20 second and it deleted all the logs and all the messages it created or consume or produce okay let's uh, that's all the our custom configuration has been worked so let's move on to the slide again Now I will talk about our upcoming feature. The custom configuration that I showed you today, Kafka Cat CLI. Kafka Cat is a com common line utility that, uh, that that use to test and debug Apache Kafka. We'll add version 3.5.0. We also add running Kafka container as non road user. The lastly, cross control. Cross control is an open source system for optimizing Kafka cluster by monitoring cluster workload, rebalancing a cluster ATC. Okay, now our future plan as ops request, it will use to scale Kafka uh, cluster upgrade or like version. Okay, next is Kafka Connect. Kafka, it helps us to import data from external systems into Kafka topics and export data from Kafka topics into an external system. Okay, that's all.